If you're looking for a rock-solid support, someone who will have your back, heal you up, and kill a few Xenos along the way, look no further than the Recon. Hey there friends, it's Kodiak here, one half of the team behind Legacy Gaming, and today we're bringing you our endgame recon build so you know what playstyle, weapons, and perks will help you tackle the most challenging content in the game. To be completely upfront with you all, I love playing the Recon. It's the perfect balance of damage and support. I never get bored, never run out of things to do because the kit works so well together. If you think the Recon is just about sniping targets and sitting back, boy howdy, you are so wrong. But let's dial this thing back and start at the beginning. The Recon class is about accuracy, and there is no denying that fact. The passive kit perk, Focus, grants players a stack of focus after hitting two headshots within 10 seconds. This effect grants 10% accuracy and stability and can stack up to three times, equaling 30%. I want you to keep tabs on how often we talk about accuracy in this build, because it's crucially important to understanding why I have so much fun with this class. Getting headshots needs to be a priority when playing the recon. If you're not good at it, keep working on it, because the better you get, the more enjoyable this kit becomes. Our other perks are all about support. The first is Pups, which we've converted using the Guard Dog perk to a stationary drone which slows enemies, deals a little bit of damage, and stumbles them. I love Guard Dog, and while the internet may not agree with me, when you're dealing with hardpoint defense, there is no better perk in the game. Using Pups, you can completely lock down an approach, giving your team ample time to kill any pursuing enemies or reposition if the situation so calls for. Our other perk is Support Drone. This little guy provides the entire team with some ammo, as well as a 20% buff to accuracy and stability. There's also a small life leech effect that gives players health back on hit while the drone is out, but to be honest, I feel like it's a bit undertuned and never use it for that effect alone. That being said, you can already see that there is this hybrid idea being formed. On one hand, you have incredible killing potential, with focus drastically improving fundamental stats like accuracy. On the other hand, you have utility with our two drones. Not only are they providing you with buffs, but they're also helping you control the battlefield, and that is essential when it comes to group play. However, this is only our first stop on the road to building a recon, so let's move along and talk about the weapons. When it comes to making an impact in Horde mode or during campaign missions, you need to bring out the big guns. That's right, our first weapon in the rifle slot is the M42A3 sniper rifle, the big boy. In terms of damage from a traditional weapon, you won't find anything with more killing potential, boasting incredibly high damage, impressive weak point damage, and a guaranteed stumble chance. I don't think I need to really sell you on this weapon. It's impressive. In terms of attachments, well, we're using the same things we did on our Twilight during our Gunner build, and shameless plug, if you haven't already checked out that video, you absolutely should. It's a good one. For our barrel, we're using the extended flash hider, taking advantage of that thermal explosion special perk. For the magazine, we're once again using armor-piercing rounds to take out elites, and for the optics, we're using the digital scope, which provides a healthy chunk of passive buffs, but also doesn't replace our ADS, and that's the key. We're going to rely on our sniper rifle in two distinct situations, when enemies are far away, duh, and when we're taking out elites under the effects of something like a gunner's overclock. With over 330% weak point damage, plus all of the added benefits from attachments, you'll be floored at how quickly this weapon can cut through enemies like warriors and praetorians. The other weapon in the mix here is our CQW, and in this case, it's the X-43 Barrage Flechette SMG. This is my favorite weapon in Aliens Fireteam Elite, full stop. I told you to pay attention to accuracy throughout this video, and if you've been keeping tabs, there are a number of ways the recon can boost that one particular stat. High accuracy plus overpowered SMG equals a straight up laser. This gun is capable of dealing insane damage at a blistering pace with near perfect accuracy, and it fills in all the gaps from the rest of the kit. Honestly, I could probably play the recon with just this weapon if I needed to because it's that good, but it does struggle at extreme range and with elites. For attachments, I use the vented flash hider for a weak point boost and increased range on hit, the quick loader for that saucy perk that restores 10% of a mag on kill, and the hybrid optics which increases 
You guessed it, accuracy and weak point damage. I also want to draw your attention to the 4 star improvement down here. And what do you know, another perk that increases accuracy and weak point damage. So you see, that's what this weapon is all about, turning an already solid baseline choice into an absolute xenomorph killing machine thanks to a few passive perks and some know-how. Both these weapons together round out the entirety of the recon's kit, but to really see how effective this loadout can be in a fight, well, we have to look at the perks. At first glance, this recon perk grid is a bit of a hot mess, but if we take it one piece at a time, I think you'll have a better appreciation for just how much this loadout brings to the table. First, let's start with the pups. We already talked about converting it to the guard dog, which allows it to be stationary and slow enemies that move through its field. Great. Additionally, we use Distracting Howl to further slow enemies by 30%, and the Long Haul, which increases the duration the pups is out by 20%. The real secret sauce here is Threat Detected, which increases our accuracy and stability by 50% while the pup is active. A 50% buff, think about that for a second, and think about how important accuracy is to our build. Insane. Moving over to the other side of the grid, we have our Support Drone, and honestly, we're not doing anything fancy here. Quick Charge 4 increases the recharge speed by 22%, and Adrenaline Rush increases the healing provided by 20%. Pretty straightforward, but still noteworthy. In terms of weapon enhancements, we're using the Technician CQW training, which increases reload speed and accuracy by 15%, the Recon CQW Mastery, which increases range and weak point damage by 15%, and the Gunner CQW Mastery, which increases fire rate and accuracy by 15%. As you can see, lots of different passive boosts, but the key is, once again, accuracy. The final few perks in the mix are all a bit random and one-offish, but invaluable in the same stroke. First off is Unbreakable Focus, which augments our Focus passive kit perk. This increases our reload speed and handling by 50% when the recon is at full stacks of focus. On top of that, we use Threat Neutralized, which grants abilities a 15% recharge when killing enemies with a headshot. More headshots means more focus, but now it also means faster uptime on pups and support drone. Finally, we have Got Your Back, which is a really interesting perk. When killing an enemy that's attacking a teammate, this perk reloads yours and your teammate's equipped weapon. This works whether or not an enemy like a Prowler is on top of a teammate, or if a random enemy is just targeting an enemy, so you're going to see the benefits of this perk a lot. Expanding on this, we have Back in the Fight, which makes Got Your Back even better. Every time that effect procs, you and the teammate you saved gains 10% recharge on all abilities. Is the perk grid a bit convoluted? Absolutely, but hopefully you can see after breaking it down line by line why the recon is such a valuable asset to have on any team. Insane killing potential, incredible team-wide buffs, and some really unique perks that make them a true hybrid. When it comes to consumables, you're going to find that the same things work well across the board. You're not going to see a lot of deviation between our build guides here on the channel in this particular aspect, so I'll keep it short. Cryogrid gives you a large ring of CC that slows enemies by a significant amount, making both your weapons and your teammates able to sit back and fire on their targets with ease. Vulnerability assessment drones are another solid choice, as these grant your entire team a 25% boost to weapon damage and range. In our opinion, everything else just falls a bit flat. You can use the Electroshock rounds as an on-demand stun, but it's finicky at best and can hardly match the efficiency of the static grid and assessment drones. And before you ask, no, turrets are not good. I'm not talking about the technician ones, I'm talking about the deployable ones that pretty much get one shot at higher difficulties, so no, they are not valuable when talking about endgame content. So at this point, we only have one question left to answer. Where does the recon fit on a team? In my opinion, this class is the glue that holds the more offensive-minded kits together. In an ideal world, I would want a Gunner, Demolisher, and Recon together because you're still getting a ton of utility, but you also have insane on-demand damage and CC. You could also make the argument that a Gunner, Technician, and Recon would get the job done. It's a different mindset, and both the Recon and Technician overlap to some degree, but if you've checked out Livid's Technician Guide, yep, another shameless plug, you know that with a few tweaks, that class has no shortage of killing potential. At the end of the day, if you build the recon like me, taking advantage of everything we talked about in this video, you're going to fit in perfectly on nearly every team. And whether you're sniping enemies halfway across the room, 
or filling them with lead from your SMG, you're capable and adaptable, and that's what makes the Recon one of the best classes in Aliens Fireteam Elite. So there you have it, our endgame build for the Recon. Of course, my way isn't the only way, so if you have any critiques or you want to share what you use for a Recon build, feel free to let us know in the comments section. We love hearing from you guys. If you enjoyed this video, we would love some support. We're chasing our year-end goal of 150,000 subscribers, so if you love video games and you want more in-depth reviews and fresh content in your feeds almost every single day, please consider hitting that thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. It's still the single best way to help channels like ours reach new audiences. We also invite you to join us on Discord. We've got a great community of around 7,000 members, so check out the link in the description to join today. Finally, if you like everything we stand for here at Legacy Gaming and you want to support us even more, you can now do so by becoming a member. For just a couple bucks, you're helping evolve the channel and take our community to that next level. Check out the join button below to learn more. My name is Kodiak, and from everyone here at Legacy Gaming, thanks for watching and play on.